Hello, sixth class. I hope you are fine. So, today's your new lesson. The Old Brown Horse. This is definitely about a poem. W. F. Holmes. This is the poet name. You can see at the end. W. F. Holmes. So, this poem is uh, describing about uh, a horse uh, when he was uh, quite young and now he is old and uh, he is feeling not good because uh, he cannot run as he was uh, in the habit of uh, running in the past so he is feeling sad and uh, we describe uh, in some summary so first of all let me clear some words number one word is uh, there are very few words so I tell you quickly had my day had my day it means my best days are past I am now old so had had you know it is past my day had my day it means my best days are past spent finished gone like all these meanings uh, so the horse is saying I am now old now the horse is old but he was uh, describing his past days when he was young so this is the reason main the next word is main main means uh, be careful this word spelling m a n e main so this is mean uh, it means long hair on the head and neck of a horse long hair on the head and neck of a horse it is called mane so it means talking about long hair on the head and neck topmost bar topmost bar means top bar of the gate in the fence so in the fence in the picture you can see uh, inside the fence uh, animal they live so that they cannot go here and there without any permission so this is the reason uh, top most bar to uh, top bar uh, of the gate in the fence like this so weary means uh, very tired it is called tired so this is uh, you can say it is the reason uh, like weary it means tired so don't forget all these things now we go for the point uh, summary I described the summary of your poem uh, if we talk about summary summary is about uh, a horse there is a horse it's called brown horse or uh, the horse is very sad in this condition because now he is old so he recalls his young days when he was young and quite active and energetic so he is uh, now the the owner the master of uh, the horse is not paying some attention uh, to this horse so the horse the brown horse feels uh, very much uh, sadness and sorrow and now the master does not uh, ride on it so uh, and uh, he drives his car the master drives his car so this horse feels very bad at heart and he is not happy now so once uh, a man passes uh, through uh, this uh, horse on uh, the fence and he stops uh, close by this horse and he loves and uh, fondle and uh, throw his hands on the, on the head and on the skin he touches the horse so this touch of uh, the man uh, the, uh, it feels very nice it feels uh, quite sympathetic quite kind and uh, very much loving so this uh, horse feels uh, very good of uh, touching of this man so uh, he is describing his feelings so this kind of feeling uh, the brown horse is feeling now and he recalls his uh, young age when he was quite fit and the master used to ride on it and he was uh, quite uh, active uh, and he was quite energetic uh, so this, this is the, the summary of uh, the horse um, brown horse describing by the poet w f holmes so this is the story of a horse 
uh, somebody of a horse describing his uh, some happy and sad feelings about present and the past and uh, the lesson that is, there is a lesson that we we must uh, be kind uh, to the animals uh, they feel it we must uh, care them we must look after them if we have a tom or if we find all around us we should be very careful about them they feel it they see it and they try to love it as well so we we should show love to them this is the lesson of this summary uh, now we describe uh, this poem uh, what is the, the explanation of the poem line by line uh, the old brown horse looks uh, over the fence looks over the fence he turns he turns and look over he turns his uh, head and look back like this looks over as well uh, over the fence out of the fence he looks uh, in a very sort of way very sort of way means uh, in a very lazy situation in a very tired position in very being very exhausted like that kind of thing in a very sort of way uh, he seems to be saying to all who pass uh, when we when we pass uh, when by this horse for example so it uh, feels that he wants to say something well folks so these are the words by horse well folks folks mean people i have had my day i have had my day means i have spent my young age i have spent my past i have spent many years like that now i am old uh, I am simply watching the world go by, but now I am here in, uh, in my fence, I, I only can see, I only can see uh, people going uh, nearby me and nobody seems to mind, nobody seems to mind, it means uh, nobody feels about me, nobody feels that I am uh, standing here, nobody uh, bothers to talk to me. Uh, as they are chasing past in their motor cars because uh, actually the people are uh, traveling moving into their cars uh, dashing the, as they are dashing past in uh, quickly dashing past uh, in their motor cars so they are passing through uh, by they are driving fast so they don't care a horse who is lame and half blind uh, this is a very pathetic condition of a horse, very sorrowful condition of a horse that uh, it is uh, lame, uh, problem with one leg and half blind and uh, problem with one eye. So half blind, like he can see with one eye only. So this is the reason the horse is very pathetic, it's a sorrowful condition. The old brown horse has a shaggy coat, uh, shaggy coat like loose skin. Uh, especially uh, like through any body, any part of the body that is uh, very loose because of old age because of being old and now he is no more young so uh, uh, shaggy means very loose uh, like uh, hanging something hanging skin so like this the old brown horse has a shaggy coat uh, but once uh, he was young and trim uh, but uh, in the past he was quite young and trim trim means to cut the hair in a beautiful way like uh, the hair uh, like the hair uh, around his neck uh, like you can see this is hair so it was very trimming very beautiful cut beautifully cut like this tail it was very looking very beautiful but now he is old nobody cares about his hair so this is his uh, just feeling uh, has a shaggy coat but once he was young and trim he was very beautiful by hair and very young and he used to trot through the woods and uh, trot mean walking jogging running and he used to used to like something you do in the past like used to so he uh, was in a habit uh, that to run uh, through the jungle woods mean jungle and forest so he was uh, he used to run in the forest and lanes uh, and the lanes of the trees uh, in the jungle uh, left and right so he used to run there uh, with the man who was fond of him and he uh, and the man was with him like uh, his master actually 
his master was with him owner uh, uh, of the brown horse uh, with him and he was quite uh, fond of fond of mean very keen uh, uh, very keen very you can say in uh, taking interest uh, of uh, this horse so like this but his master rides in a motor car but now what happens uh, his master rides uh, by a motor car he, he drives motor car and it makes him feel quite sad so this scene is quite sorrowful because now uh, the master does not ride uh, on the horse this very brown horse because he is old so uh, this hor horse is feeling very sad when he thinks of the days that used to be uh, or he uh, the horse uh, thinks about his old memories when he was quite young and uh, all of the times they had or uh, all the time it was uh, fun and uh, frolic and activities and comfort and peace and relax and happiness everywhere because he used to run in the jungle and forest and uh, the owner was uh, as well feeling very comfortable by the riding of the horse so now this uh, brown horse is feeling like this uh, sometimes a friendly soul like this sometimes a friendly soul uh, will stop near uh, the fence sometimes a friendly soul friendly soul means a very good person a very loving person kind person any person so uh, a person st uh, stops uh, will stop uh, near the fence uh, he's thinking about uh, maybe one day a person will come to him uh, come to him where the where the tired old head rests wearily on the tom post bar tired old head or uh, he will uh, put his head on the grill on this fence uh, rest mean to put wearily uh, with some uh, exhaustion or with some uh, tiredness on the top uh, top most bar means the top rod of the fence uh, he will put his head on it and a friendly word is said and uh, he will say some kind of uh, good words about the horse then the old brown horse gives a little uh, sigh as he feels the kindly touch of a hand on his mane uh, as soon as the man touches his uh, hair with love and care so the horse feels very good and he feels uh, comfortable and or his shaggy coat and as well he touched the loose skin uh, with the lovingly uh, lovingly and uh, he does not mind so much so the horse does not feel bad uh, so this is uh, very much loving uh, situation uh, the horse feels uh, when the friendly soul any friendly person comes there so if you pass by the field one day uh, just to stop for a word or two so if you pass so whenever you pass uh, nearby the field nearby the place uh, of the horses just to stop for a word or two so we should stop there uh, you must uh, stop there to talk to one or two words uh, with the old brown horse uh, because of this uh, to talk with this old brown horse who was once as young uh, who was uh, young in his past years but uh, and as full of life as you and because and he was quite energetic full of life mean quite energetic quite active uh, as you uh, are now so uh, the horse was, as well was quite active and energetic uh, he will love the touch of your soft uh, young hand and this brown horse will love very much of touching it uh, because he is feeling now he's old and nobody loves him nobody touches him so this is the reason the, uh, the horse is talking about uh, all this story and feelings and uh, i know he will seem to say oh thank you and the poet is describing that um, uh, definitely i i i know the if you touch the horse he will feel 
uh, very much sorrowful and even he will say you thank you friend uh, for the kindly thought uh, for a horse who has had his day and uh, this is a great kindness for a horse that has lost his young age that has uh, passed his uh, good holidays uh, holidays and uh, that has spent his young age so now he is old and nobody asks uh, nobody loves him so these are the feelings uh, he will not feel no more if you care so the poet is uh, describing in the last lines that we should be very much kind and uh, and loving and sympathetic to animals because they are uh, feeling uh, emotionally well they feel very much emotions uh, they they feel these soft touch by the human beings and uh, they like it very much so this is the lesson and uh, read it and listen it and focus it carefully